Thanks, Vanessa. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, we're back, and we're going to do another pH before we, uh, before we bottle. Now, um, I think I mentioned this a few days ago when we checked in on, on our brewer, that if you're just enjoying your kombucha tea out of your brewing system, it's more, more important that you enjoy the taste versus the, that the pH level is low enough because, um, yes, yeah, so the lower the pH, the more fermentation, which means that the more organic acids, the less sugar, but at the end of the day, you gotta enjoy it. The big concern is that when you go to bottle your kombucha tea in, uh, in your bottle, that sounds so redundant, but uh, the tea is removed from the culture, so it's, the, the kombucha tea is removed from the source, meaning that you wanna make sure that that pH level is below three or, or three and below so that it is, is um, in such an environment when the pH is three or lower, it's, um, it's not susceptible to pathogens, to, you know, to environmental factors. Because the SCOBY's not there to keep working. Exactly, so if, you, you know, if your pH is like four or something and you taste it here, not that big of a deal because your, your tea it's very hard for your for your for your kombucha tea to because it's constantly being worked on. It's you know? a work in progress. Yeah, but when you do go to bottle, that's where the, the testing comes in, and you know because I, it, it's it's definitely like um, with a thin line. We I, you know it's it is important to to have a lower pH and make sure what you're drinking is really kind of kombucha and not just sugary tea. But at the same time, don't go crazy about oh, is it you know is it testing two point six or two point seven? Um, you know we we do uh, or actually we, we you know we have extra pH strips available, and there are other sites, and uh, maybe one day we'll carry. They have like these you know two hundred three hundred dollar pH digital testers that will get it really scientific. Um, and if you get into like advanced brewing and all that stuff, great. But for now, you just want to make sure that your pH is, is low enough so that when you go to bottle it. It will be in a, it'll be a, um, safe, and yummy. safe and yummy. Thank you. <laughs> I was at a loss for words. Mm. All right, V, so we're going to have you test the, uh, the pH. Okay. And a very simple, uh, we Just did it when you were here. In. Exactly. You want to pour it up um, and keep pouring it. Actually, we want it a little higher because we want this to be submerged oh, okay. in the middle. This is my first That's time perfect. pH. Great. And we're going to hold that there and we're gonna drop it in exactly. So we're not gonna let it hit the bottom, so keep going down, perfect, right there. And we're gonna count to about, you know, no, 10 don't. seconds or so. And I think I did on the last one, I just started talking, and next thing you know, I was already about. time is up? I think the time is, oh, it was falsetto. Up, great, and give it a shake. <laughs> I feel like a man. Oh, no, you, you can take it out and give it a shake. <laughs> Did you say you feel like a man? Yeah. All right, great. And we're going to wait for, for a few seconds. Mm. You want to drink? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I, the thing, maybe people are like, oh, it's a chemical stuff. I don't know. I drink this stuff anyway. Yeah, because, it won't bother me. But, uh, all right, cool. And uh, if we could get a, a close up again, just like we did last time. 